Hello, dear ladies and gentlemen. Today we have a special guest from Fundex Limited. And for a start, can you please tell us briefly about yourself and your company's mission? Thank you. I'm Heather Ann Hubble, and our mission is to um, improve and make it easier to manage transactions across the investment life cycle, a single place for everybody to manage it easily and simply. How your solution aids small and medium enterprises precisely? Uh, the advantage of Fundex is it's a software of a service and it doesn't need to be tied into other technology. So it allows you to manage um, the activities in one place. It's also not specific to one kind of activity. So if it's HR onboarding or if it's uh, financial um, management or risk management or actually doing some transactions, you can do it all with the same tool. You don't have to have a whole bunch of different ones. And how about the startups? Do you aid what startups too? Yeah, so one of the things we've created is the concept of a pathway that helps people with stat with stages and tasks that they need to do. And uh, we have a very large incubator client that has helped us create the original innovation management system. We've also got a pathway specifically for new startups. It helps them go from, from beginning to end of building up the business, creating a business case, getting themselves ready, ready for funding. And then there's another pathway that would help them to actually do the equity raise themselves as well. So oh, today, uh, data protection is very important and how your company supports consumers' private data. Yeah, so we have extremely tight data security on the platform. Typically, we have businesses, business users logging onto the platform, and there's very tight permission about who's allowed to use what data and who's allowed to do what activities on the platform. In addition, we've got full cybersecurity on the platform and all of the data is stored in um, either the UK or the EU to meet the uh, European uh, data governance requirements, although those do meet most of the world's requirements. I see. And are there any trends happening in this landscape in data protection and security? Uh, people are becoming much more conscious that we need to do something about it. There is a lot more focus on cybersecurity. I think what people really need to get their heads around is it's not just a tool like cybersecurity to fix something. It's really thinking about the way that you do everything and using the least amount of data in the most secure way to be sure that when you're doing your activities, you don't end up um, unintentionally uh, having a challenge with your data. Yes, indeed. And today, investments are also very important. If you got any investments and funding, how did they help you grow? <clears throat> so we're we're self-funded up until now, um, and uh, our we have a group of, of companies in our family office. And from our perspective, it was really. Um, taking that opportunity to build the beta platform and making sure that that concept worked and then um, extending the the funding to be able to open up the next view and that that being able to trial it and test it with customers so we have customers always helping us has made it much easier in the process um, but as i say we've completely funded it to date yeah i understand how is your pro your process of client onboarding happens do your clients find them uh, find you by themselves or you find them uh it's a combination so we are um uh, you do have the ability to to access the platform via our fundex website um, we're listed on uh, Gartner's various services like Captera, but we're just as likely to be reaching out to people who we know are like-minded to have similar interests and would actually um, be suitable clients for the platform. So family offices, funds, funds administrators, um, trust and service companies, and, and consultancies um, where we see that there's a, a particular niche. We've got experience. We've worked in so many areas in financial services that we have a pretty good sense of the sorts of challenges people have and how we know funding can help that for them and you are a female entrepreneur on the board of this committed team and are there any challenges or um, any obstacles you faced on your way to this top management position uh, well I've been working a long time and I spent a lot of years in in industries where um, it, it, you, we quite often got passed over for someone who was more experienced and then turned out they'd hired a man who you were training. Um, that was a long time ago. I know it still happens today. Uh, but I think that as women, we need to be courageous enough to say, 
I might not know it all, but I can figure it out instead of saying, I need to know 90% of it before I can go ahead and try and do it. Uh, and that's a challenge which I quite enjoy now, but was hard to learn in the early days. Yeah, that's very inspiring because we also have a rubric called female entrepreneurship on our website. And we always put some content about it. And the last yeah, but it's, not least, sorry. Sorry, go ahead. Last but not least, um, what are your future plans for the company and for yourself? Uh, well, I'd like to keep running it for a few more years. Um, we want to be, we want to create it Fundex to be the place across the investment lifecycle to manage people, processes, and technology. So effectively becoming a single place to and integrate all of the different technology that you um, need to use in your day-to-day -day life across the investment lifecycle. Um, I suspect that in the course of time, um, one of our potential competitors or big user clients will decide that they want to acquire us so that they can um, assess it and, and, and change it the way they want um, and maybe at that point I might consider retiring. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Have a great afternoon. Have a great day.